What's going on YouTube and welcome back to our channel, Rain or Shine, we are bringing you content and today we're going to be reviewing and comparing a 2023 Hyundai Palisade SEL with a premium package compared to a 2023 Hyundai Palisade limited package. Now guys, we are going to be talking about exterior, interior and some specs about both these cars, but before we do, it is not a sponsor video. So if you guys do like our content, please like the video, subscribe to our channel because it really, really helps us out. Also, if you got something for us to film, here's our email below, email us and we can talk details later. Special, special shout out to Hyundai of Roseville in the Roseville, California for providing us these cars for this review. And guys, stay tuned because we're gonna be dropping that MSRP sticker for the exact package and price tags on these cars. Now let's go ahead and start. Now let's kick off this review with talking some specs. Now, both these engines are the same, so it does come with the 3.6 liter V6 engine, GDI. Now guys, the horsepower and torque, horsepower comes 291, 262 torque, eight-speed automatic transmission. A little bit about the MPGs, 19 city, 27 highway, and a 22 combined. For the ones who wanna know about towing capacity, to up to 5,000 pounds of towing capacity. You also get the option of getting front wheel drive or all wheel drive option. Now my advice to anybody would be get the all wheel drive because if you have it, it's just nice to have it at your disposal. Now let's go ahead and shut these hoods. And let's talk Palisade exterior. Now there ain't pretty much nothing different over to the SEL premium package. Now that premium package, when I say the premium package, it's an additional add-on. So that's going to be an add-on to the price tag and you will be seeing that later. Stay tuned because we are going to be dropping those MSRP stickers like I said. But get a load of this front end. Now we left the lights on so you guys get an idea. Hazard lights, that kind of black gloss look in the front. Hyundai stamped right in the middle with your camera right here in the front, okay? Crash warning sensors. Look at the grill down here in that matte black plastic and that kind of matte gray or I would say silver look on that trim. Very nice and beautiful. Loving how it comes together. If you guys are watching this video, this is an abyss black and that's a steel graphite color. So this is kind of like a gray. Okay. So for anybody who wants to know lights, you got the DRL lights, daytime running lights with your headlights here and of course high beams. Very nice full LED system. Coming over to the side, you got the matte black plastic trim on the wheel wells with your parking markers. This one's on, this one's off. Now, if you guys do watch our video to, uh, for the calligraphy package, we have an in-depth video, so if you guys wanna go to that and check that out, you guys will see that this trim itself here comes painted on the calligraphy, but matte black plastic on the SEL with the premium package over to the limited. Right under those wheel well trims, you got 20 inch uh, bicolor rims in that kind of gunmetal gray with machine surface silver. Now, they come standard 18 inches, but because it's a premium package add on to the SEL, the SEL comes with the 20s, but typically you would be seeing 18 inches, so keep your eye out for that. This is pretty much almost close to the limited because of this premium package. Continuing forward, side mirrors, we left the side mirrors, got, get an idea of the integrated side lighting. Right under that, you got cameras integrated into the side mirrors with blind spot assist and auto dimmable with heated side mirrors. Now, fully loaded side mirrors, super cool. Keyless fob entries on that kind of matte gray or matte silver look, very cool. Same color around the trim with the black gloss trims in between the windows. Up top, roof rails, same color in that gray or uh, matte gray, but check out something different is that the SEL comes with just one sunroof to where over to the limited, you get a dual sunroof, one in the front and one in the back, which is very cool because if you're sitting in the limited, the ones in the back seats or the ones in the second row seating and third row seating will kind of get an idea. So if you're feeling claustrophobic, you get an idea or what's going on outside. Is it raining? Is it sunny? Very cool. Continuing forward now, you got a gas tank on the SEL on the driver's side, and the gas tank is still on the driver's side of the Limited. Just, just trying to throw a joke in there, lighting things up. Let's go over to the rear. Same idea in the rear, nothing much different on both. 
same look. Now you will on the calligraphy, if you do again, check out our video with the calligraphy package, you will see some slight differences on the trims, but pretty much straight to the point, same things. Got that nice LED lighting. We left the hazards on for you guys to check that out. Backup lighting right here. You get your bumper sensors integrated, camera right over the license plate, and that kind of matte gray look coming in over from the front to the, to the side of the car and over to the back in that dual tip exhaust on that passenger side. Same idea. Now guys, coming into the trunk space of the Limited, I wanted to tell you guys that you get the option of adding hands-free. Two limited standard, but SEL would be optioned added. So take that into consideration because now, remember, you're buying a car, you can add and click so many boxes and things of that sort. So do your homework on the exact packages or options you want to add to your car. We can do the hands-free open or electric tailgate. Step back, it opens, very cool. Coming in over to the back, this is third row seating. So I left the third row seats up on the Limited and you can check out what it looks like over to the SEL package. And I left the seats down so you guys get an idea of how much space you have with that third row down. Now you could also drop the second row seatings the captain seats to even get more. So if you guys do find yourself going over to the nearest hardware store, trying to fit a washer, a dryer, dishwasher, two by fours, whatever, maybe you wanna build a house with these cars. Have no idea why you would do that, but you can do that because you have the option and space inside these cars. Very cool. Something you will see different, okay? We're at the Limited right now. Right here on the driver's side, you get your control unit panel right here for the third row seating, and we can drop those third row seats electrically and you don't even have to hold you just click them and it drops them electrically very nice and convenient to here over to the SEL you don't have that but you just have the second row now let's go ahead and show you guys that oh that driver's seat is a little bit too behind but you get the point where you have that not much different uh, over from the look of the car when the seats are down but you get the difference here in the buttons, all right? Coming over to the Limited, you can pick up these seats automatically, and let's go ahead and drop the second row seats, and that's what it looks like with that aisleway in there, so you just get so much space. So if you're using this for camping or heading up to the mountain for skis, snowboards, all that stuff. Now, we're pretty much done. We're gonna head, go ahead and push that button, and also push this button, both tailgates closed, exterior talked about with some trunk space. Now let's go ahead and talk exterior, interior. So now sitting on the interior side of the 2023 Hyundai Palisade limited package, right off the back guys, I'm gonna show you guys some differences. The door sill plate on the limited, you get that Palisade stamp to where the SEL, you do not have Palisade stamp, but just a regular normal door sill plate. Also, heads up display, you do not get that in the SEL. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, dual sunroofs on the Limited, but no dual sunroofs on the SEL. Looking at the door panel, pretty much the same. You might have a different tint in your grays or a different design on your inlays, but pretty much the same idea. Leather wrapped control unit for your windows, control unit unlock, locking button for your mirrors, settings, to be able to set your memory seating for your driver's seat. This inlay comes over to the dashboard, bringing us to a full digital cluster. Now, another thing I wanna to mention to you guys that is different is that on the regular SEL package with no premium package, you will have a manual tachometer front cluster display. But once you get the premium package on the SEL, you get full digital 12.3 inch cluster screen. Okay, take that into consideration. Now, because it's a premium package SEL, we don't have many differences, but if you do get a standard SEL package Palisade, you will be seeing more differences, okay? Get a load of how beautiful and rich this Palisade looks with the design, the inlays, tri-zone climate control, very nice, beautiful, simple toggle switch, <coughs> ventilated seats, heated seats, and heated steering in both. You get your camera system, 
all around the car very cool 360 look bird's eye view let's go home very nice touch sensitive screen responsive straight to the point now we're not going to go through all the knickknacks for the sake of the time of the video, but if you guys do head over to Hyundai here in Rosa, California, they have great people to sit and teach you guys the setups and cool ins and outs of these cars. Right under that, you get your manual control. So if you wanna go into navigation by pressing just a button or your maps, you can also do that. Radio manually also, not just touch sensitive, but manual. Right below that is your temperature control unit for your vent and your air, AC, Rear climate, because it's a tri-zone climate. Continuing forward, I showed you guys that. With the wheel, toggle switch. Let's go ahead and push this. Wireless charging pad, limited. And also SEL. Cup holders, wanted to show you guys something cool. If you guys do have the cup holders, you guys don't wanna use them, you guys can go ahead and slide them back in. And if you guys do need them, you push those two buttons and they open up. USB-A plugins, but right under this center console, you kind of have a bridge to where you get USB-C plug-in with a 12 volt outlet and some more personal space for your purses and things of that sort. Cubby space, very nice and big cubby room with USB-C plug-in in here with a 12 volt. So you get two 12 volts, USB-Cs and USB-A, so fully loaded, super cool on that. Removable tray on both SEL and Limited. Yep. Go ahead and flip that around. There you go. Close this up. Very nice in that black Napa leather perforated seating. Loving the design. Kind of comfort yet sporty, luxurious feel that you get on the Palisades. Harman Kardon speaker sound system, everybody. Premium sound. One thing I want you guys to notice is that on the Limited, and on this exact SEL, you get Harman Kardon because this SEL comes with the premium package. But if you did not have the premium package on the SEL, you will not have that Harman Kardon premium sound. My advice to anybody would be, get the Harman Kardon because it just makes the drive and the experience a whole lot better in these beautiful SUVs. Up top, of course, you're going to have a little bit different look here because of the sunroof control unit. All right, you get the tilt and slide option. Let's go ahead and uh, you can open and close that back visor. We could also tilt and open this front sunroof. This visor here is manual. All right, let's go ahead and shut that and close that manually so you guys get an idea of that. Up top on the ceiling is kind of a gray, nice cloth canvas look. Very cool. Now we're pretty much done with the front side. Let's go ahead and talk second row and third row seating. All right, so now let's talk second and third row seating. Like earlier on in the video, we did drop these second rows, but you can lift them up. And the lever here on the left and the right-hand side of both these captain chairs, you can pop that lever and lift up the seat, okay? And the angle changes on these seats. Very cool. But you also have an electrical bunny hop seat forward kind of thing, so you can get to that third row seating. But we're not going to jump just yet in the third row. Let's go ahead and push that back. There's a manual lever here and you can push that forward or back. Stepping inside the car, you have a door sill plate that also stamps Palisade on the limited package, but not on the SEL package. Remember that. I'm about six feet, two inches. So I hope you guys are watching this video because I have a lot of questions on how tall this guy is in the video. Six feet, about two inches. Legroom is completely clear and head clearance a lot, okay? So don't be uh, scared that if you got some tall guys in the car, you're not going to be hitting that ceiling, but also you get more clearance and look at the amount of angle that you get dropping this seat back. So honestly, for long road trips with the kids, family, friends, check that box because it is comfortable. In front of you, pocket on both seats for personal belongings and right next to those pockets you get more USB-C plugins for those second row seats which nobody is going to be fighting for left the lights on so you got, uh, left the car on so you guys get an idea of how it looks back here heated seats and ventilated seats on second row seating guys remember again the SEL standard would not come with the ventilated seats but because it's a SEL premium 
you get heated and ventilated seats on the SEL also. So that's something to take into consideration on differences. Inverter with the 12 volt outlet plug-in, straight to the point. The door panels, two cup holders, not just one, very cool option to have. Same idea, same look coming in over from the front to the back with your control for your window. Sun visors, if the sun is beating you in your face and you don't have tint, you have the sun visor option with that nice inlay textured and designed trim. Very cool. Now let's go ahead, step out, bunny hop this seat forward, or you can just go through the aisle way. And one thing I wanted to show you guys is that on the limited package, you have electrical controls here also, not just back there, but also here. So you can pick those seats up by the click of a button. On the SEL, you don't get that option. They're manual lift seats, which my goodness, it is a beautiful option. Now let's go ahead and drop this seat back. Now, of course, I'm gonna drop the angle. Also, depending on how much, on how much you want this seat back, it's like that. On how much you want this seat back, all right, that's how much uh, your space is going to range. Again, six feet, two inches. Pretty clear, you do have a button here by the shoulders of the, the seat itself. Let me show you guys that. See that button right there? And check out what this button does. Go ahead and press it. Bunny hops it forward for the people in the third row seating. Now, you can drop this seat back and it's gonna take away from your seating. Remember that. A little bit more tight back here, so you're, you're going to be putting the smaller uh, people or the kiddos back here. Over to the left, you get the USB-C heated third row seating on the Limited. You do not have heated third row seating on the SEL, so take that into consideration. That is a very cool thing that Hyundai put in their cars. Cup holders, two cup holders, very cool option to have. Up top, you get the vents and some more LED true lighting inside these cars. Beautiful. Now, guys, as promised, we're going to be dropping the MSRP stickers and the price tags to these cars. Any comments, questions, concerns, let us know. We'll try to get back to you guys as best as possible. Thank you so much for watching our channel here at Vagabond Builds. Keep watching because we got more things coming.